So here we have some missing number division problems. But for this first question, the missing number is just the answer. That's because we have our problem and it doesn't matter whether the equal sign is at the start, like it is here, or at the end, like it normally is, we do exactly the same thing. So we just need to divide 591 by 3. So we can use short division. Taking the first digit, 5 divided by 3 is 1 remainder 2. That's because 1 times 3 is 3, and then from 3, we need 2 more to get to 5. Now, we have 29 divided by 3. That's 9 remainder 2, because 9 times 3 takes us to 27, but then from 27, we need 2 more to get to 29. So finally, we have 21 divided by 3. That's exactly 7, because 7 times 3 is 21. So our answer is 197. Now here, we have 276 divided by something equals 6. So our divisor is missing. And what we do when the divisor is missing is just divide the dividend by the quotient. So if the divisor's missing, we still use division to find the missing divisor. So there's no point doing 2 divided by 6 because 2 is less than 6. So let's take the first two digits together and work out 27 divided by 6. That's 4 remainder 3, because 4 times 6 is 24, but then from 24 we need 3 more to get to 27. So now we have 36 divided by 6, which is exactly 6, because 6 times 6 is 36. So our missing divisor is 46. Now we have something divided by 7 equals 607. So our dividend is missing, and that means we need to use multiplication to find our answer. Remember, division is the inverse of multiplication. So something divided by 7 equals 607. You could read it backwards as 607 times 7 and that would give us our dividend. So we can use short multiplication. 7 times 7 is 49. 0 times 7 is 0, plus 4 is 4. And 6 times 7 is 42. So our answer, our missing number, is 4,249.